Internet, good morning, Daybreak748, coming back at you guys with yet again another Figma product review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Figma product 435 and it is none other than another freaking Kirito. Yes guys, it is Kirito Alicization version and yeah, that's it, there we go, it's another Kirito. Uh, yeah. I mean, they do realize in Sword Art Online, there's more than just Kirito, right? I hope. Anyways, so here we go. We have another Kirito and let's get straight to it. So, oh, I didn't even notice that this was in the way. So I'll just take care of this right now. So in any Figma, I guess, product, you're going to get this instruction manual, which is a very good thing because sometimes uh, things can be a little difficult if you're not careful. So here's everything that it comes with. It shows you how to swap out the pieces and whatnot, things that can come off, things that can come off, and it just tells you. So make sure you guys, you read this because if you're silly and you don't, then you have no one else to blame but yourself. Up next, we have the standard Figma goodie bag. For those of you guys who don't like keeping the box, you can store all of the Figma goodies there. Up next, we have the standard rack of hands. You have two closed fisted hands that come on the actual figure. You have this semi posed hand. You have the gripping hands. You have the, um, I guess, the open palm hands. Very nice, pretty simple stuff. You have the Figma display base plus this piece right here that attaches to the back for some more dynamic poses. Up next, we have the spare joint, just in case you break a peg, Figma has your back. They in included a individual or one spare joint, which I just dropped, uh, that you can use to just swap out if you need to. So that's really nice of them. Love having these because um, just in case, if you break one, you have one to as a spare. Up next, we have some standard faces. So we have this grinning face right here. Looks pretty good. I mean, my camera for some reason is having a hard time. There we go. So you have this grinning face right here. And then you have this face right here. And it's the yelling face. So pretty exciting stuff, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's your standard faces for Kirito. Then up next, we have the two different swords, which I think look phenomenal. I think when it comes to Kirito, um, the one thing that really just shines throughout everything else are his weapons. I love the different swords that he has in every season. It's very different and unique. And so yeah, we have this one. I think it was called the Night Sky Sword. Looks very nice. I love the metallic blues that they used and this a more matte finish or semi-matte or semi, yeah, something like that. And then you have this darker purplish blue right here. You have the hilt, it's just black. Looks nice. Really, really digging this sword a lot. Up next, you have this one, which is supposed to be the Blue Rose Sword. Now, if you haven't watched the anime, I'm not going to say anything. So just watch it and you'll know exactly why this turns out to be this red color. But looks pretty awesome. I like the detailing on this. It's pretty spot on for sure. It's interesting that it's just solid red with this pink hilt. So there you go. Now, you might be like, Daybreak, does he have another sword? No, he comes, the, I guess the other accessory that you get with this guy is this hilt uh, or this sheath part. And you see that the sword's actually in there, but it's actually not a full sword. It only has up until this piece right here. And it just literally pegs in. So there you have it. So just in case you want to display him, just like I have here, you can do so, and it looks pretty freaking good. Now, something to note, getting this sheath onto his little, I guess, um, latch piece right here was a pain in the butt, and I was super stressed that I was going to rip this right here. The reason why is because this part is this nice rubbery material. However, 
when you want to put this sheath part in, there's like this little, I guess, plastic piece that you have to push through into this little tiny hole. And it's not a fun time. It, it's just, it's very nerve wracking. And uh, I'm just glad it went in in one piece and I don't need to worry about it. So with that said, let's take Kirito off the stand here and just take a look and see what's different about him. So clearly this is Kirito, you can clearly tell. Um, his hair, it's a lot more, I guess, uh, toned down in the other uh, incarnations of Kirito, you saw that his hair was kind of all over the place, a little bit more spiky. Sometimes it was long, sometimes it was just neutral, but it's still kind of spiky. But this one, he looks very, very refined. He looks older. And I think that's one good thing going for the SAO characters. They look like, at least to me, like they are growing, which is pretty freaking amazing. When it comes to his suit design, this is because he's in a school, for those of you guys who uh, are not keeping up with the anime. Yeah, he is in some sort of academy, and this is the uniform that they make their students wear. So pretty very a pretty simple design you have this dark bluish black right here everywhere you have this um this matte white and just very very sleek i like it um so nothing too crazy when it comes to paint it's pretty standard stuff right here when it comes to articulation you pretty much have the same articulation as any other figma head can fully rotate can look all the way down, which is quite nice. Uh, yes, you will create that little uh, gap where you see the peg, but you're probably gonna look from the front, so no stress there. He can look up, but again, you're gonna have that disjointed look right here, but it depends on how you position the head, obviously. The arms can go up this far, can fully rotate. You can maneuver this inwards, so that you can get his arm to come all the way across to have this pose right here where he's grabbing his sword. Uh, this piece is pliable so you can maneuver it. Just be careful. Like I said, I don't, I feel like this joint or this piece right here could definitely snap off. So be careful with that. Upper diaphragm, there is one and he does a pretty good job moving, but um, it's kind of hindered because this is one solid piece in front. And as you can see, it kind of, and this back piece is an individual piece. So there you go. But I mean, honestly, if you've dealt with Figmas, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When it comes to the legs, he can do the splits. He can come out all the way. Figma joint, kind of yucky design, but uh, again, if you are not, if you're not new to Figma, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. The feet can go all the way down. He has the little uh, toe pivot right there, and he has an ankle rocker. So that's that. So all in all, pretty basic standard Kirito figure. I mean, at this point, you should know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to. Um, Figma Kirito, it's literally the same spiel uh, over and over and over again. So there's that. Now when it comes to swapping out the face or anything of that sort, pretty simple. I'll showcase it here. You pull off the existing hairpiece, just like this. You're gonna pull off the face, just like this, and then revealing this piece right here. Now, I personally like the face that I had on him already, the neutral face. So I'm gonna just put that back and put the hair piece back on. And there you go, it's that simple. So get him in a whatever pose that you like and Kirito is ready to be displayed. Now, I just wanted to do something for fun because we've gotten so many Kirito figures at this point in time that I wanted to kind of do a comparison so here we go. Let me just move this over. Kirito right here, looking all snazzy. Okay, so there is Kirito from uh, Sword Art Online Alicization. Then we have the original Kirito. And like I said, it's a little different as you guys can clearly see. 
So this one, his hair is kind of, uh, it's like a kid. He doesn't have it stylized at all. He just have like um, hair pieces kind of sticking out. So there's that one. There's that Kirito. And as you can see, his hair is darker. This one has this bluish hue to it. Well, that's pure black. Then we have this Kirito right here, again, with the spiky hair and the more stylized hair. So there's that one. And then lastly, we have the girl looking version of Kirito. And that's that. So four Kiritos, yes, there's a Kirito party. Pretty cool. So there you guys have it. Those are all the Kiritos out at this point in time. And I gotta say, uh, I kinda want some other characters, Figma. Please, Max Factory, are you listening? Uh, we, there's so many awesome character designs in SAO um, that just getting the basic Kirito is kind of annoying and upsetting. Hopefully we could get some different, uh, different Kiritos. No more Kiritos, please. Uh, different characters, that would be greatly appreciated. But with that said, there you have it. That was my review on the Figma uh, Kirito Alicization version. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, if you like what you saw, please check out my other videos. I do uh, anime figure reviews like you saw here. I do Vice Shorts content. I do discussion videos. You name it. I do a pretty a decent amount of different things that I think you'll like. So check it out. And with that said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. And yeah, until next time, guys, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace.